Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Carlisle Events, which is the Chrysler Nationals. They're featuring Roadrunners and Super Bs in the building. And I'm with Joe. Joe, what's your last name? Joe Jerry, my name is. Joe Jerry. And Joe, you have a car that, well, I'd like to hear your story because it's a good one. When did you first want this car? When I was a kid, about six years old, my father managed a Chrysler Plymouth dealership. And there was one exactly like this orange 426 Hemi four-speed car on the showroom floor. And I used to sit in it all the time as a kid when I would go down to see my father at work after school, and I wanted one ever since then. You would sit in the car in your dad's showroom, so he yep. knew where to find you. Yes. <laughs> Come on back, let's show the car, shall we? Step right alongside yep. me. This exact car. Now, where did you find it? I found this car from a, gr a girl in Arizona had this car, and she used to race it back wow. in the day. So when I got the car, it was all there, but it was a little rough. Yeah. So uh, we drove it a few times and decided, I think this car is worth doing a full rotisserie restoration. And that's a reflective stripe, correct? Yes. So when was the rotisserie? Well, look at the look well, at the 2006 work. we started. I have my own body shop. Okay. So. Uh, we Where's that the, at? We'll give you a we're tip. In in. Clifford Township, Pennsylvania. Okay. Small town. And uh, we started in 2006. And I think it rolled out in fall of 2010. We did a complete rotisserie restoration on it. Rebuilt everything, every nut and bolt. We built the transmission, differential, motor, everything. When you got done with this car, was it a relief or was it? Ecstasy, or both? It was both. So this is really the show car for your place. Yes. Let's take a look. We're going to start from the back there. Let's take a look in the trunk, shall we? Let me take a, a shot of the back before we jump into there. Now, does this car, is this is a show car, correct? I mean, this does not drive on the no, road. No, we don't drive this. Okay, so this just comes out. Has this car been videoed before? No. So this is the first video of your show car. Yes. Well, we're going to take our time with this one. Because it's definitely old. <laughs> ah, yes. Wonderful. A reflective as well. Let's open it up, shall we? Joe, what were some of the tougher parts on this car when you're looking for parts? Just looking for parts. A lot of the trim was a little bit tough to find. When I was doing this car, a lot of things were hard to find. Like the back window was very hard to find. I found the best one I could possibly find. And, uh, I mean, we polished for hours on it. And back then, they didn't make a good reproduction back window for it. It didn't fit very well, so we found the best one we could possibly find, and that's what we went with. And all the other glass is original in the car, except for the windshield. The windshield is new. Wow. And all the sheet metals, the original sheet metal. Oh, yeah. it's, even the floor pans. So tell, me, tell me, was there a, was there a scoop that go, uh, uh, that, air spoiler? These were optional. You could put, there's a lot of these cars have a bow wing yeah, on sure. the trunk. But this one this, just didn't have no, it. No, it didn't have it, but it was so all the trunks yeah. were drilled for okay, it. Okay, drilled for it, sure. Yes. All right, so let's shut that. Thank, Thank you. you. And we're going to, uh, let's go to the interior, may I? Yep. Thank you. So let me first do this. Wonderful. And we'll get the door. So we've got the metal on the top, the vinyl. Vinyl, yeah. So we can focus a little more. There's your metal, your vinyl. Yep, just the vinyl bench seat. Now, when you, were a grip four speed. when you were a five-year-old, did you grab that pistol grip yes, and move I it around? Yes, I did. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> thank God they didn't have the keys in that thing back then. So we've a got... lot of these were very bare-bones cars. They were built to go. And we got the windows, as you can see here. Yep, and well, there was two different styles for the Roadrunner. The one was pillarless, cooked, right? Yeah, pillarless, and this one had the, the pillar, pillar, the more stuff. 
And we have it hooked up to start it, right? Yeah. Is the battery up? The battery up. Okay, let's hook the battery up while I'm doing the interior. Just delightful. Let me take a look under the hood. Joe, anything under the hood that was super difficult? An original Hemi car, correct? Yeah, everything was super difficult. Most of them Everything, okay. Let me do this. That's a little easier to read that way. What's the reaction when you bring this to shows? Depends. People sometimes, they start from the back, and when they get to the front and they look under the hood, they get a big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you some of the things I've heard. Really? Yes. All right, keep, well, yeah, let's holy, keep it. Holy something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and we're going to have to beep the horn. And then this is obviously That's all functional. The air yeah, the air grabber opens on vacuum. Switch under the dash. Switch under the dash. Let's do that for them. All right, so let's, uh, we'll start it. I'll go to the back once you've started it. I'll listen to the idle. We'll, we'll give it a beep too when you start it just so they can hear the beep beep. And then uh, we'll watch, I'll give it a rev and then I'll come back and I'll do the air grab. you get that back there. What an amazing car, right? Was it, uh, you know, when you finally got it, how old were you? When I finally got it, I was... You purchased the car after being I five. was in my 40s. So, so you're in your 40s. You finally, I'm in my 50s now. That's okay. So you got the car in your 40s. What was it like when you finally were driving the car that you were in for all this time? I didn't really want to drive it because I didn't... <laughs> We put so much time and work into it, we didn't want to get anything chipped on the bottom. Yeah. I mean, we had to drive it, obviously, to get everything, make sure everything worked, and everything works perfect, because every bushing and everything's been gone through on the car. But yeah. I really wanted to get on it a little bit, and I did, and uh, I impressed myself with it a little bit when the back <laughs> tires lit up. And uh, Was it everything you were thinking about as a kid? Did it kind of come through at that moment? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, car, it brought you all the way back. To, I mean, cars keep us young, don't they? They, ver they very much do. Yeah. What are some of your favorite features of this car when you were a kid? And then I'll, we'll, we'll sign off, so to speak. What were some of the things when you got well, in this car? Well, when I was a kid, I used to love to watch the Roadrunner Coyote Hour, ah, the cartoon. So it was the cartoon. The cartoon, yeah. And the car, and then, since it had the, and then come I on with me. I with the shifter on this car. So that was the thing, the cartoon got you interested. Go ahead. And then the shifter. So when you, the cartoon... And then the pistol grip. Yeah. 
Well, of course, the air grabber, but... The toy. That's such a wonderful toy, isn't it? Yes, it is. What a beautiful thing. Joe, I hope people subscribe to the channel because this is just great stuff. Joe, what a wonderful story. Thanks for being on my car story. Thank you for having me.